Mary Robinson has said that COP28 is the most important climate summit ever because it's the last COP which can deliver a global response to climate change before the world becomes unlivable. Mrs Robinson said the level of rising greenhouse gas emissions was now so serious that this was a make or break meeting. The chair of the elders, Mary Robinson, who had a heated exchange with the president of COP28, Dr. Sultan Al-Jabbar, about the science and the need to phase out fossil fuels, attended COP28 in Dubai today. She said it is the most important climate summit ever because it is the last COP standing between us and whether or not we have a livable world. She said there isn't enough urgency in the rooms where these negotiations are taking place. And she said the situation with regard to rising greenhouse gas emissions is now so serious that this is a make or break COP. Well, we have to peak the greenhouse gas emissions by 2025 and then reduce by 43% um, emissions by 2030. We're on course at the moment to increase emissions by 9% by 2030. It's crazy. It's so out of joint and yet there is not the kind of crisis mentality that I would like to see. Tawnishta and Minister for Foreign Affairs, Michal Martin, was also in attendance at COP today. He came to announce 50 million euro in climate-related finance from Ireland for poorer, less developed countries, with half of that money to be delivered between 2025 and 2027. It's a whole of government approach, and I think it's significant that the three party leaders have been here uh, to signal that Ireland believes in a whole of government approach to climate, that it permeates all aspects of government. Uh, the Minister of Agriculture will be here, um, Jennifer Carr McNeil is here, and that, all of that is important. Meanwhile, an annual climate change performance index by independent environmental organization German Watch showed Ireland slipping six places to 43rd out of 63 countries last year for climate protection. This afternoon, Minister Eamon Ryan was appointed, along with his French counterpart, as a European lead ministerial negotiator behind the scenes in terms of international global climate finance. That is a key role in ensuring that money is put in place and is available for investment in clean energy infrastructure. And he will be trying to ensure that that becomes easier and more profitable to do and that investing in fossil fuels and fossil fuel infrastructure becomes more difficult and less profitable. George Lee, RTE News at COP28 in Dubai. In the US, President Joe Biden's son.